Moving forward, this is for you, Chuck. It's actually a two-part question, Chuck Crosby at the law, Crosby Law Offices. Uh, Grandma Sarah quick claimed her $500,000 home in Oldham County to her grandson, Arnold, two years ago. So he's writing us in this email. She recently passed away owing $100,000 on the mortgage. I guess, Brandy, you could be involved in this too. So Arnold's wondering, is he responsible for paying off the mortgage since it was in her name and the deed was put into his name only? So the answer to that first leg is yes, absolutely. Uh, If you have a lien on a house and then the property transfers, that lien stays on that house. Uh, We have what they call a race notice state. Hmm. It's basically whoever gets there first and puts the uh, notice of the encumbrance in, uh, that's going to uh, uh, be the first lien, as it were. Um, So she had a mortgage on the property. The deed comes after. That mortgage transfers with the property. Parenthetically, can the mortgage company, upon hearing of uh, Arnold's grandma's passing away, cancel the mortgage and demand payoff for it? Most mortgages, and it depends on from which lender they are and uh, which form they use, Uh uh, either paragraph 13 or paragraph 21 will typically be what we call the due on sale clause. Hmm. That is to say, if someone transfers a beneficial interest in the property, a beneficial interest means you have a legal interest in the property. So you call it a contract for deed, call it a bond for deed, call it whatever you will. If you transfer a beneficial interest in the property to another entity, then the loan could come due. Now, typically it doesn't as long as the mortgage keeps getting paid, Uh, though I have seen it on some VA loans and some other loans where property is transferred and then they do call it. Uh, So they have the ability uh, to call the loan. 